the small town of Umundi advertised a weekend festival of body painting and pavement chalk artistry. So when we came across painted car bodies, we assumed the advert to be tongue-in-cheek. There were different takes on the decoration of the vehicles. Some were cleverly airbrushed, and some looked as if they'd been painted with a two-inch wide paintbrush. Two of the vans were painted by very talented artists who used their vehicles as travelling advertisements to their skills. One car bonnet was very understated and was very attractive. While another body painter showed off a selection of painted surfboards as well as his vehicle. The pavement artists had a very uneven surface to work on. They were each given a section of the brick courtyard, and it was interesting to see how the different artists worked on the amazingly difficult surface. Squeezing through the crowd, we managed to see what was holding their interest. There really was a display of body painting. With the thermometer struggling to get above 22 degrees, I felt for the poor underdressed canvases. In spite of the gas heaters scattered around the marquee, and the proximity of the mixed audience, including children, plus the flashes of hundreds of cameras, the girls would have felt very exposed. Again, there were many standards of skill among the artists, and it was fascinating to watch the way in which they used their colours. Some used airbrushes, and others used handheld paintbrushes. Some used rubber prosthetics. While others worked without. Finally, to bring the festival back down to earth, there was face painting for the children. In contrast to the volume of paint used on the bodies only a few metres away, the decorations applied to the children were more like decals. They only covered a small area of the face. 